Hello, it's Agribusiness Weekend again. Thank you for joining us on the show. This is where we bring you all important trending happenings about agriculture and its value chain. And seriously, if you can't get it here, you can't get it anywhere else. Today we will be looking at the challenges in poultry farming and the way out. And I have a very, very important personality on the show with me. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Welcome back. Poultry farming is as old as history can remember. And today we will be looking at the challenges associated in poultry farming and the possible way out. On set with me is Victoria Madedo. Thank you very much for being on set with me, Mark. It's my pleasure. And a very good morning to you. Thank you very much, Mark. Um, Victoria Madado is the co-founder and agric expert for Support for Africa SMEs. Thank you very much once again for coming. Thank you for having me again. Now, poultry farming, what has it been like considering the fact that it's as old as one can remember? So poultry farming, um, it's been interesting and very, very important to contributing to the protein needs of humanity it is one bird that every human eats okay it is when it comes to the life sector um, value chain unlike religion that segregates um, what kind of protein or animal people can eat chicken is very very attractive and um, most especially chicken you know the poultry value chain poultry in itself has um, chicken it has duck mm -hmm. it has turkey and other birds yeah. but in Nigeria talking about the Nigeria context or in Africa what is um, prominent is chicken itself and chicken has contributed significantly in um, the pro protein requirement of um, families you know, right. in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. Alright now, poultry business is a lucrative livestock to venture into, but there are so many challenges associated in this kind of farming considering finance, considering the environment. Now how can these challenges be managed? So when venturing into poultry, what I always say is First and foremost, get the knowledge. Okay. Even if you are investing as an investor, you need to have the basic knowledge. If you having the basic knowledge does not guarantee um, success. All right. You need the basic knowledge. You need a technical partner. That's why now there are poultry management companies that are coming up. Seeing the fact that a lot of poultry businesses have gone moribund because of this knowledge gap. Oh, okay. That is the major challenge that I see in poultry. Because once you're able to understand how the value chain works, you're able to um, mitigate those challenges. The major problem is market. Okay. That's why we see a whole lot of um, gloss when it comes to egg. So people do not strategically seek and carve a market for themselves before going into, you know, investing. And that's one thing to consider. It is a critical thing to consider. The fact that they say there is a gap, studies show that there is a gap in the poultry sector, does not ultimately mean that um, there is a market. Okay. The market is there. But you have to create it, you have to carve a niche for yourself. Okay. Else, the um, buyers, the market women that comes to your farm gates to buy, they know that the poultry product has a very short um, life, shelf life. Yeah. So they force you to take whatever pricing that they give. That it gave. And if so, you don't know much, that means it's like a loss on the, the investors. It is part. not like a loss, it is a huge loss. So that's what results in a lot of farms going moribund because they go in with a business plan that has been downloaded from the internet that looks very attractive and very, um, the return on investment it looks very so attractive. Oh. I mean, so people get it twisted that what I saw in the business plan and what I'm seeing is not the same thing. 
the knowledge gap also plays a role because you see in the business plan it tells you that you have a mortality rate of five percent if okay. you if you're in boilers or layers right then you f you get to the field and, and realize that you're having huge mortality issues because you do not know where to get your vaccine because vaccines can be viable and non-viable. Now, considering these challenges that you've mentioned, I, it, it, it's, it's so clear that the poultry farming has so many things to consider before venturing into it. Now, what are the possible ways do you advise that a poultry farmer put in place before going into this kind of farming? Okay, so because poultry farming is capital intensive, I always advocate for what I call the proof of concept. So start small create a small backyard farm to understand the temperaments of the birds All right. to get to understand how they grow what their challenges are before investing you know heavily in it Amen. just also if you do not have the space to start small you can intern in a farm in an existing farm okay so you take it as a sacrifice to 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 plunge yourself into interning. Another thing you can do is to collaborate with poultry management companies that will help you to set up and run it. Why you, manage your farm. Yes, why you be an investor okay. you know, in, in, in it. So I think basically we've used that to help um, investors to revive their moribund farm. Now, so tell us about the opportunities available in a poultry farm. So there are a whole lot of opportunities and which I would actually like more um, younger people to get themselves involved in to avoid this um, cycle of wastage yeah. that we experience in the poultry sector. So there is the opportunity for um, the poultry management, okay. there's the opportunity for proper um, construction, equipment sourcing so that we, we use equipment that are specific to our needs, our climatic needs in, in Nigeria. And we adapt to what um, equipment that is more user friendly for us okay. than just adopting technology from um, outside our yeah. continent. Um, when it comes to research and development, we have also seen that um, there are some local herbs that can replace some of this um, synthetic or chemical drugs oh, wow. which we need more younger people to explore so, so. that those opportunities to prevent the glut that we experience year in year out luckily for us because we have this series called the african farmer stories we are able to get on time and real time um, pains and struggles of farmers experiencing egg glots mm -hmm. and even um, glots of meat which is broilers. Mm -hmm. To avoid that we can we encourage, what I would like to encourage people to do is to look at the egg powder, okay. to look at the egg shell, okay. to, to you know so the egg powder if there is a proper traceability egg powder can be used in the pharmaceutical companies um, can be used in confectionery and the food um, sector. So yes, it is instead of importing that, we can now have um, that import substitution and, and you know relieve the, the these can, effects. This can the actually create more job opportunities. Yes, especially for the youth. Exactly. So with the eggshell powder, we're talking about calcium, which we can also feed back to the birds and other animals and pharmaceutical companies can use it. Then there are also some other um, products um, from the eggshell that the decorative sector, which is mostly the paint making um, companies use to enable them um, have this temporary feel of paints um, uh, when you're doing any kind of decoration. So there are a whole lot of um, byproduct opportunities you know even the even the offal of the birds after processing can be used for dog and cat um, meal making which is a huge export um, opportunity for for young people 
we than the feathers which is very good for pillow making you know it's something that we need to we need to explore you know we, we need to open our minds to opportunities in the sector rather than just using the old traditional way of doing things the old traditional way have worked very well however we need to expand you know it's like, like you just said a new way of doing things yes you know just just it's like a tree the old way is the roots we are sprouting from that root you know without distorting you know the core itself mm. right yeah so that's what we need to do in the poultry sector so that um, we can avoid the kind of wastage year in year out that we experience in the sector it's it's really painful and disturbing Okay, we take a short break now. Don't touch that there. Hi everyone, my name is Baron Omiji, the head of Agri Days of Anchor Insurance Company Limited. Keep watching Agri Business Weekend Show. Welcome back. Victoria is still on set with us. Thank you very much for being on set with us again. Thank you. Now, this is the game section and I'm seriously promising you that you're going to have fun. Uh-huh. So this is how it works. We have 10 questions. So you just um, choose any number and then I ask you the question. And okay. Seth, you just give me the answer. I know you can do better. All right, so you have question number one to number 10. You just choose any number. Question five seems like a lucky number. Hmm. Question five. Why do people like question five? Okay. So, tell us, who is your best singer? Yanni, he's not a singer, but he's my best musician. It's wow. inspiring, you know, when you listen to Yanni. Um, you just, your brain starts working well. Oh, wow. Yeah. So his music fixed the brain? Yes, the instruments and, and how everything synchronizes. The, the way it blends, it just makes it... Can you sing any of this song for us? Okay, so there are no words to it. Oh, wow. So that's what makes it magical. It is, <laughs> there are no words to it. But, I mean, my favorite is Tribute. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's just so amazing. Come on, let's hear it. Let's hear it. It's, it's instrument, so I oh, cannot... it's an instrumental. Yes, okay. so it's an orchestra, so I can't really... Um, Go sing it, it okay. but you just have to listen to it and and make meaning out of it from your own um mindset wow okay i love that okay next number oh wow well. okay um, number eight number eight <sighs> what's the funniest day of your life oh that is easy Every day is the funniest day oh, of my wow. life. Okay, so um, I'm carefree, right? Okay. So I have this mantra, life is not hard. So every day is fun. I make every day fun. I just have to be happy. You know, I like the way you're saying, I make every day fun. Yes, <laughs> because life is not difficult. <laughs> okay. All right, so we go to the last number. Choose any number. I right, choose question. number one. Number one, <clears throat> I love this one. I've been waiting for somebody to pick it. <laughs> Thank God you picked it today. All right, what's something you would always wanted to do as a child but never got to do it? Huh. As a child, growing up, I thought um, I'll be the, the superhero of the world. Wow, like so, um, the Superman. So you become the Superwoman. Yeah, <laughs> so I always felt that I needed to save people I, because I just can't watch people um, suffer or get, go hungry or unhappy, more like it. I, I feel very unhappy seeing other people unhappy. That's great. Passion. But unfortunately, growing up, um, I, I met a shock and a rude reality wow. that okay. I cannot help everybody. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I really wish I could or I can um, because when you stretch out your hands and lift other people, it makes the world more fun yeah. and enjoyable. 
um, and I really wish everybody can do that, stretch their hands out and, and just lift other people up. It's yes. so inspiring. I hope that I feel like crying. <laughs> Thank you very much once again you for being welcome. on the show today. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. All right, this is where we draw the curtain onto this episode. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do you know why you need to subscribe? You need to subscribe so that you can get first-hand information on whenever the updates of Agribusiness Weekend pops up. So do well to subscribe on our YouTube channel and start exploring. But for now, I'm Joy Labarai. Bye.